I started off getting involved with the oil and gas potential in the uh, Kabora Basa Basin, which is what we call this part of the uh, Zambezi Rift, uh, back in the mid 80s. It was discovered at that time by geophysics, gravity, and aeromagnetic that the sedimentary sequence out here could be over 10 kilometers deep. And armed with that information and further work, we managed to attract Mobile in to do the hydrocarbons exploration. Now, initially, I was on the government side as the acting deputy director. Uh, uh, but then, you know, when Mobile started to work, I'd already left. And they engaged me to uh, do the geology out here. So basically, I started working properly in this area for oil and gas in 1989 from the Mozambican border all the way to Victoria Falls. So, what has changed now? What has changed is that 30 years ago, you know, there were um, um, fields in Mozambique uh, which were just lying, you know, online, online fields which were lying unexplored. 30 years later, everything has changed. There is a great big demand for gas. The easiest way to use the gas would be to produce electricity. Uh, that itself will be of such a benefit to the country that, you know, it, it would be fantastic. Ex fantastic. Excess you would export? Sorry? Excess gas you can export? Well, the ex excess gas, if it's in sufficient quantities mm -hmm. to warrant putting in a, a, a pipeline, or exporting it in big big tankers as liquid li liquid natural gas. Yes, then we can export it to our neighbors, or even further afield, depending on the size of the discovery that we make.